Hi people, uh, welcome back to the Steve and Sully study. This is just going to be a quick episode to say Merry Christmas and of course in a few days time will be the new year so um, hope you've had a fantastic 2019. I've definitely had a, I'm going to call it a, a character building year, some uh, successes, I've had some big big challenges and I wouldn't change any of them because they simply define who you are and they, they mould you into uh, the character that you need to be in order to achieve your goals. I wanted to make this uh, Christmas episode a, uh, a big thank you to all my guests who uh, appeared on my podcast in 2019 and also the team, uh, predominantly Mimboso, a guy called Chris who's been helping me out a lot. He's been traveling around the country with me, even abroad to Spain. I also want to thank Rob Moore's company, uh, Progressive Property, because they helped me uh, a bunch and all the people in, in the back office, they're fantastic. So on, on Christmas Day, I like to do predominantly three things if I can. I like to uh, do a little bit of training in the morning. I just feel that if I'm gonna scoff my face, and I know it's a bit incongruent to the way I usually am, but if I'm gonna eat chocolate, you know, pig out, eat way too much, and uh, maybe drink some wine or beer, the way I kind of feel like I I uh, deserve that is uh, I will simply um, go for a run or something or, or do some sort of exercise. So my recommendation is to do that simply because it just makes you feel, feel, feel better. But then the other two things before actually Christmas Day starts or, or your meal is really recap on, on the year. Think about you know the the gratification you know challenges you went went through or any kind of like um successes that you had or any um or any uh you know good moments where you felt it defined you as an individual i think it's always healthy to uh to think back to these um to these times and then the other thing is just just think start thinking about now about some of the goals and some of the the things that you want to achieve in 2020 as you probably well know these years are flying past they're going very very quickly and um time's going to move anyway so i feel the the best thing we can do is utilize the time in the most effective way planning uh, your goals setting your goals working towards them in 2020 you know has to be at the forefront of your mind if you haven't achieved the certain things that you wanted to achieve in the last five or ten years well well now is a good time to start and i feel that in 2020 i think you can push yourself even more this year i mean i've had uh, again some massive massive uh, challenges uh, i had a boxing fight i raised money for charity i've done podcasting i've run my businesses i bought a property uh developed you know developed a, a few others that we have in the portfolio uh, I've had some fantastic guests on my on, on, on my podcast, and um, because I'm so self-critical, I always think to myself, "Could I could I have done more? Should I have done more?" And I don't necessarily think that's a bad trait to have because I'd rather be more like that rather than, "Do you know what? I've done enough." Um, I like to push myself, and even if it means sometimes becoming very self-critical and you know, like put myself through a little bit of pain or being uncomfortable i'd rather do that than uh than 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 just become you know um content with what i want to achieve and at the end of the day my whole saying is be happy never content i'm never content i always want to push on you know even if i won the lottery even if i'd never played the lottery but even if I, I won the lottery i'll still be working i'll still be looking for an opportunity to build something i will still be doing podcasting i'll still be training i'll still be pushing myself i'll still be boxing you know i'll be doing all these things money isn't ever going to change that um no matter how much money i'm going to get whether you know even if i've got a billion or 10 billion i would not i would not change don't get me wrong you know the car i i pull up uh, to my meetings would definitely change uh, my, my watches would get even better my trips around around the world would be a little bit more lavish um but deep down nothing would change it as far as my, my driving determination is concerned so uh, guys, Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, hope you've really enjoyed 2019 because 2020 is going to be even better, I've got some fantastic guests lined up and um, I really, really appreciate all your uh, feedback, uh, all your comments or, and um, your uh, recommendations to friends and family and get them to jump on my podcast and I really appreciate when you hit me up on Instagram, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel humbled that people are getting some value from it. 
Be happy, never content. Absolutely smash 2020. Um, recap what you've done in 2019. How could you improve that? And uh, I look forward to seeing everyone in, in, in the new year. God bless. Thank you.